The Secret History of Chicago Music is a s info strip, for lack of a better term. I cover an obscure Chicago musician, uh, write up a history on them, do a portrait, and it runs in the reader every couple weeks. It sort of started as an extension. I do a magazine called the Galactic Zoo Dossier that covers all sorts of obscure 60s psychedelia and music. I just noticed I was covering a lot of Chicago stuff, so I thought it'd be a good idea to have it sort of spin off into its own comic strip and have it run in the paper. The MCA show, we will show some of the strips, which some of them go way back and people haven't seen. Um, but also some of the original art, which I work a lot larger. I tend to do the actual portraits 8.5 by 11. Then they get shrunk down to about a 50th of that size by the time they actually get in the strip. We'll have a table showing some of the sketches and original logos and templates and all that kind of stuff. We've got some really good performers uh, lined up in conjunction with the show. Everything is just very basic pen and ink, you know, uh, cut and pasted and you know, copy machines used a lot too in that process. I was always into very flat painting at the very least, but before that I was kind of priming myself for a comic book drawing sort of career, so I learned how to do all that lettering and penciling and inking and panel borders and all that stuff. People have asked me why Plastic Crime Wave. I think I just, I decided a lot of my heroes sort of had a cool nom de plume and I was gonna come up with one. I liked something that sounded probably as, something that couldn't really be a person. Guys like Helios Creed and Android Funnel, there are all these guys in rock. Mars Bonfire, one of the best rock names ever. I just kinda wanted something like that. I've been drawing since age three, and I, when I was four, I wanted to be a book illustrator, and then I wanted to draw comic books. There's a certain level where this is always what I wanted to do, despite being told, you know, I wouldn't necessarily make money at it or whatever. I just never seemed like a concern, and I mean, I don't know what else I would do.